I'm Kay and I'm a late bloomer. What are the joys that make growing heirloom tomatoes worthwhile? Watching a variety of shapes, sizes, and colors grow before your eyes. the taste, the explosion of freshness and juice in your mouth, all delight the senses. Yeah. That's juicy, right, Zachary? Here, take a peek at a few of my harvests. On the last day of July, when the garden was most lush, five days after building the tomato support, I harvested and pulled my sweet corn from the back 40 raised bed. Now I could easily access the two tomato plants that I built the support for. However, <laughs> I wasted no time replanting it with okra and onion seedlings. I've got onions and okra right there. I'm standing in the onions. <laughs> I was acting in a play in West Hollywood when the first big, beautiful tomatoes ripened, and I shared them with the cast and friends who came to see me in the show. One cast member said it was like eating a slice of heaven. My tomato jungle. One, two, three, this is three, and this is four. And then over there, five and six. Oh, really? You have something to say about that? <laughs> Those are the parrots. <laughs> Get it out. It will rot in there. Ha <laughs> ha. doke. This is a a red cherry, and look how huge that is. It's a handful. I love harvesting. It reminds me of hunting Easter eggs. As the vines delivered abundance mid-August, issues multiplied. I pruned many leaves with mildew and sprayed with all natural sprays, but it kept coming back. The foliage was so dense, it spread like wildfire. It's like the leaves have chicken pox. No matter how many leaves I take out the next day, there are a ton more. So many leaves had been removed from the Gary Osena vine, it left the fruit exposed during our record September heat wave. Some got sun scald. This is a result of a multi-bloom. Cat facing is when the tomato sticks to the bloom as it's growing and becomes deformed. Erratic soil moisture, excessive soil nitrogen, or below 50 degrees Fahrenheit during flowering and fruiting can be the cause. As delectable as it was, for every one perfect serendipity, there were four affected. Frequent watering can cause calcium deficiency, which can result in blossom end rot. And a few fruit were lost to varmints and another tomato virus, bacterial spot. Tomatoes are highly susceptible to herbicide drift, which causes twisting and curling of leaves. 
Luckily, I only saw one of these stink bugs. <laughs> okay, what is wrong with this picture? First of all, that is a brown widow spider and its egg sac. I was trimming tomato leaves that were yellow and the other thing wrong in this picture is that I'm not wearing gloves. My beautiful tomatilla got hit with spider mites. The backs of leaves were coated. I sprayed with an organic spinosad insecticide and got it under control, but I'd planted in a too small container and it failed to thrive. This handful of purple tomatillas was all I got. While I still have a few hundred tomatoes on the vines, powdery mildew is wreaking havoc. So I know the days of starting new fruit are over. It's a waiting game to see if I can get the tomatoes on the vine ripe while I still have a few leaves left on the vines. Let's take a quick tour of the remaining vines, do a little harvesting, and maybe a taste test. I just pulled out a few big ones. This feels like about another nine or 10 pounds. I harvested nine pounds yesterday and 17 pounds the day before, but this is why you do it. <laughs> The night I sowed 150 tomato seeds, I had no plant tags. I'd been to three different stores and they were out. So I devised what I thought was a brilliant idea, color charts. I didn't realize until I had ripe tomatoes that somehow I had reversed the tray and all the <laughs> varieties got mixed up. So all those plants that I gave away, not all of them, but some of those plants that I gave away are mislabeled. This one is a beautiful plum tomato called Plum Tigris. It's just taken forever to ripen, but when it does, it's gorgeous. It's been really hit or miss with my container tomatoes. For example, this, the bottom of this tomato looks bad, like, like it has blossom end rot, and this one looks good. <laughs> oh. mm. so good. Are you growing heirloom tomatoes? What are your biggest challenges? Please let me know. And please share this episode with friends. I'm Kay, I'm a late bloomer. Thanks for watching. See you next time. I'll have my, I'll have my, re <laughs> well, just take a look at a couple of, <laughs> damn it, I almost had that. <laughs> I'm feeling a little silly today. <clears throat> Sorry. Pests and maintenance to, <laughs> I can't think what I did. <laughs> is that Korean or is that dancing? Korean. <laughs>